Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at how we can fix eyelashes on our portrait in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. I like to my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. As you can see, these are some of these eyelashes I downloaded from Google. Today we are going to be using this and this. If you take a look at this portrait closely, you will notice that there is makeup, there is eyelash and other things. But if, you, if I disable this thing, you notice it's just neutral, so natural. So this is the original portrait, but this is what we got after editing, everything done inside Photoshop. But today we are going to be looking at how we can just fix the eyelash because it's going to be time consuming. So we have to take it step by step. So we are going to be looking at how we can fix this eyelash. Maybe on our next tutorial, we'll look at the makeup or how we can do check the eyebrow and balance it. Then if you take a look at it, this, this is the eyebrow. So this is the eyebrow organized. Then, then the other one is the makeup applied. So if you, if we start doing all these things today, it's going to take us a very long time on this tutorial. So we are going to be focusing on this eyelash. So we are going to disable all this, possibly all this. Then we are going to be looking at the eyelash. I use background eraser tool to remove the background by creating empty layer. Then click on the background and select background eraser tool. If you right click, you notice we have eraser tool. We have background eraser tool. You are going to be using the background eraser tool. Out of these three eyedroppers here, we have double eyedropper, then single eyedropper with add and the multiple selection. Then we have to make sure the middle one is selected. Then at the limit, make sure this contiguous is selected. Then the tolerance can be changed from 0% to like 85 should be okay, depending on the strength of what you downloaded or what you have. Then I'm going to be using it to wipe the entire white background, thereby leaving behind the eyelash, because there should be contrast between both of them. There's a tutorial here about how to separate hair from background with high contrast. Then if you take a look at this, like we're going to make sure the plus mark and the middle is targeting the white background. The plus mark in the middle of this circle represents the target. So wherever the plus mark is, if it's going to be your target. So when you click, the color that is there is what you are going to be removing. Then we have to click on this white and wipe up the white. We are now left with the black, which is the eyelash. Then we can now take this eyelash, then we have to drop it on the image. You zoom in, then adjust. Then once you adjust a particular level like this, like this extent, you can hit OK, then use your Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then we'll have another one for the other eyes. Let's continue adjusting. Let's say we have to adjust to fit the size of the eyes. Then you can hold your control down and use it to warp. Hold your control down, pick the edge of the box and use it to warp the stuff. Then as, as you can see we are as you can see we are okay, we then hit okay, then we'll go to the other layer, which is this, and don't forget to flip horizontal. You have to use your control C, then right click and flip horizontal. Then after flipping horizontal, then you rotate a bit to match the eyes. Then you posi reposition, match the eyes, reposition and reduce the size because both of the eyes are not going to be the same because of, because of perspective. Then let's see, let's zoom in more and see, I think, we should be okay here. Then we have to to hold our control down and pin the edge, then start warping. Then 
So as you can see, we are done with the top. We select the first one, then hold our shift down and select the other one. Then use our control G to put them in a group. Then let's see before and after. This is before and this is after. This is before, this is after. Isn't that amazing already? So we are going to be using this for the next one. We are going to be using it for the downside. Then let's say we'll pick our selection to lasso to and select the downside. Then you can feather if you if you don't feather, it doesn't matter because it's not touching any edge. You can use Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste. Now we now have a copy of the downside, which we are going to send to the main image where we are going to make use of it. Then we have to drag to reduce the size, drag to reduce the size to match the eyes. Then if you take a look at this now, okay. if you take a look at this now, it's almost, it's almost there, but it cannot fit the eye properly. That comes to where we are going to use our warping. We are going to use our control, then pin the edge, then take it to where we want it to be. Like so. Then you can also pin this edge and take it to where you want it to be. So uh, like this, I believe is okay. We can manage, you can cope with this. So we have it like this, just hit okay. Then look at what we had. Isn't that amazing already? Then we have to duplicate this by using Ctrl J. Then we have it duplicated. Then we can move it to this other side of the face. Then mind you, like, the shorter hair has to be close to the nose, while the longer hair has to be close to the ear. We have to use our Ctrl T for transform. Then, then we right click and flip horizontal. Then we have it flipped. Then we have this side to the nose now and the long hair to the ears. So we can turn, rotate and fit to the eyes. So like as you can see, it's very easy and it's done. Now we are going to create another group for these two. Select the first one, hold your control to select the next one and use your control G to place them in a group. Now we have them let's say the first one to be top then the second one to be let's say bottom so if you take a look at these two now we have them let's let's take something else here so i can see it very clear so this is the girl this is the model. Let's see before and after. This is for the downside before and this is after. Isn't that amazing? This is before and this is after for the downside. Then for the top side, this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. For the entire, this is before and this is after. This is before, this is after. Let's zoom out and just take, it, take a look from afar. Let's say this is before and this is after. This is before, this is after. Isn't that amazing? So simple. I think so. So that is it for today's video. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us where it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also, Ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video, Creative Pool. Keep on creating. Please stay creative. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Bye.